If the water were to leak, it wouldn't, they could immediately shut it off like, with the blink of an eye. The Conversation Cafe idea actually started um, as a part of a lot of the planning that we're doing for our um, Stemester of Learning, which is a, a grant that we received at Lincoln. And so in this case, what's happening is we're looking at um, the issue that's kind of been a hot topic lately, which is the Centennial Uranium Mine, um, which is a proposed um, uranium mine east of Fort Collins. We've been researching all about uranium and its effects and its benefits as well to see like whether or not we should really have this in our community. And that's pretty much what the Conversation Cafe is about, informing people about what the uranium will do to our community. We have a table and group leaders and there's um, executives and opinions for the uranium mine and against the uranium mine. And we're going to give our position statements and have a little civilized debate within our group about our opinion on the uranium mine. So I neither support nor protest the construction of this proposed centennial uranium mine near Nun. We encourage the kids to use talking sticks just because we want to make sure that our conversation remains civilized and you know everyone has a chance to say their piece. Um, and that's our first round. Second round of conversation is what we call open-spirited conversation. So this would look a little bit more like a Socratic seminar or a, a debate where um, you get to ask questions of other people and you get to say, well, you made a great point. And then the third round, students will have the chance to kind of have their final reflections. Hey, you know, you made a point that really made me think hard about my position. So kind of a reflection tool. The teacher's been telling us to be very open-minded in the process, so we've been studying both sides. Like we've been going, we went to a seminar with Terry Walsh, someone who works with PowerTech, to learn about their side. We've looked at Wikipedia, we've looked at um, the CARD website, which is Coloradoans Against Resource Destruction, as well as the PowerTech website, and we found all of them health helpful. And also Ms. Bayer put together a big, thick packet of art um, computer articles for and against her for looking at both sides, and that was very helpful. Kids also had an opportunity to do field work um, and water testing on the Poudre River, but also at um, both sites, um, Jay Davis's uh, Mustang Hollow Ranch, which is adjacent to the uranium site, and also the PowerTech uranium site. So they did water testing there, um, collected information, and then kids were also um, able to do um, their own research where they had articles and current events that they looked into. Um, a lot of them contacted experts to just kind of get the, the bottom line. I had kids contacting the Colorado Department of Health and the EPA and kind of doing their own original research um, so that they could have the appropriate information to go to the Conversation Cafe and be informed and knowledgeable about the issues. This is definitely going to help because we're getting, we're going and we're out in the community and we're service learning and that's always good because you have to do, be brave and do stuff in the community when you get older and you have to have communication skills and conferences and you have to have research skills to be able to do your job. So I think it will help in success as an adult. One of the big skills that we're focusing on, particularly because we are an IB school, is communication skills. Um, so being able to you know, communicate an idea clearly, so understanding it, but then um, being able to communicate it to um, an audience, and in this case, the public audience, but also their peers. Um, and then also being open-minded and seeing that there's actually two sides a lot of times to an issue. And you may still have a strong opinion on one side, but being able to at least understand and have the empathy to say, hey, I see where you're coming from. It's a little intimidating, but once you really get into the conversation, it just gets going and it gets a lot easier. I totally love listening to what the kids' ideas. Um, I'm so proud of the fact that they did their research. Um, each one of them could present very well what their opinion was. Um, and they weren't afraid to say, I'm for it or I'm against it, and here's the reason why. It's interesting because um, everyone has a different side on the table and so you just have to be really balanced and you have to be calm like yeah you may not like the person's opinion but you have to be understanding to what they have to say. Each one was straightforward in expressing his or her view but uh, most importantly they listen to one another with respect and we adults need to learn from the youngsters on that. <laughs>